This is a fairly large job. It's been going on for about two years. We've been involved for the last three or four months with it. And this work right here is all existing. We haven't added any of this equipment. This is what's already been here, but it's still our responsibility. Since we're working with this equipment, we wanna make sure that we leave this equipment working as best as possible of our ability, and also make the area look as nice as possible. Here you can see there's a lot of mess sitting around. The electricians have left stuff laying around. We got other tradesmen that have uh, fire suppression systems leaving stuff around, the duct people leaving stuff around. And every time that we've come in, we've cleaned it and it's been a mess afterwards. And that's okay. A lot of people get very mad at the other trades because they don't clean up after themselves. Ideally, everybody would clean up after themselves. But ideally, we'd have world peace, but still hasn't happened. I still take on the responsibility to make sure I clean up after my job sites to make sure my job looks as best as possible. So we're going to clean up again all of the trash, we're going to sweep the floors, clean up all the other junk laying around, and make these systems look as best as possible. That also includes taking the panels off these units and cleaning all the dust off inside, washing out those condensing coils, and make sure these systems are going to be as nice as possible. They're still going to be older equipment, but still I don't want somebody else walking in behind me and thinking, I left this mess. So even though I didn't make this mess, it could still be viewed negatively on me. And I wanna take pride in my work. I wanna leave this job knowing, hey, this looks nice. Also, if you clean up an area and have it looking nice, it's a little bit easier for the next guy to think, man, this looks like a mess after I got done, and for them to continue cleaning it. Ideally, but it doesn't always happen. Either way, we're gonna take the responsibility to clean this job up, make it look nice. You also have to think about building managers. On a big project like this, there's gonna be somebody in charge of this project. When they come in and they see this mess, they don't see how much work you did in the system, how good of a vacuum you pulled, that you put the charge in correct. They see that the mess you made. I don't want anybody coming back on me thinking, man, this guy left a horrible mess. This guy's sloppy. I wanna make sure I take pride in my work to give the best possible reputation. Sure, there's a chance that somebody else comes in after me, but it's also a good thing to take a picture after you do your work. So if somebody accuses you of it, say, look, we'll take care of it, but here's a picture of how we left it. So we're gonna go ahead and take, and for the fourth or fifth time, clean this area up again, make it look nice, because we take pride in our work. 